right, it's 6.02. I'm going to go ahead and call this meeting to order. Uh, we do have a quorum. Um, I know that we do have one more board member on her way, uh, Rachel, to be here in person, but is stuck. Um, before anything else, there is uh, an agenda issue to deal with that we uh, would like to, I think, propose a vote to add something to the agenda. Um, uh, Heather has a... Uh, I would like to add um, to the agenda of, uh, information regarding next steps for a superintendent search. Okay. Um, and that would... I, board education. Board education. Board education. Board education. Great. So... Perfect. Right after committee updates. So moved. Even so moved. Thank you. Katya has made that motion to add the item. Do I have a second? I'll second. Megan has seconded. Further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Visually, audibly? Aye. Aye. Passes. Oh, hi, Sarah. Yay. Passes unanimously. Great. Thank you. Great. A pen would be very helpful for me. Okay. Um, meeting purpose, financial planning, budgeting, board training, and a whole lot else. I'm going to do my best to um, be better at that which I fail at almost monthly uh, and keeping to time. So, Chelsea, if you can help me do that, sure. that would be much appreciated. Um, so, we'll go ahead and move to public comment. I'll read our preamble and then open up for comment both from people here in person and online. The board welcomes comments but is not able to take any action on them other than to direct the public to the appropriate staff member or to the complaint procedure. Comments are limited to three minutes per speaker. Time may not be ceded to another speaker. Comments are to be addressed to me, the board chair, or the board as a whole, not to any individual on the board, on the staff, or in the public. Please raise your hand and wait to speak until you are asked to. Please identify yourself with your first and last name and your town of residence. Please refrain from restating comments that have already been shared. You can certainly express your agreement, but then keep your comment short. Order and decorum shall be observed by everyone. Shouting and profanity are prohibited. As the board chair, I will maintain the order and decorum of the meeting. And with that, I'll open the floor for public comment. Yes. Um, I'm just, oh, sorry, it's named Cecile Smith, Ellen Randolph. Um, I'm wondering where the, this meeting's agenda is on the website. I'm trying to find it. I would think it will be listed in the picture, and then there's all the other agendas. But, oh, sorry, it's just, hey. No, but that's what I wanted to say. It's not on the, where all the other agendas are. Hey. Is this no comment? Um, and it should be there. It should be there. Well, it should be. It should be. So, uh, are we looking in the right spot? This isn't really a weekend comment thing. We'll look into it, certainly. Thank you. That sounds The intent certainly is for it to be up there. And we'll look into it. Thank you. Uh, I see one online. Emma? Hi. Um, my name is Emma Janicki. I'm uh, the fourth through sixth grade science and social studies teacher at Braintree. Um, I also didn't see the agenda, so it, it seems like from what you've said, we will talk about budgeting for next year. Um, I just wanted to share my surprise at receiving the survey about budgeting for a school resource officer when at Braintree we do not presently have a full-time nurse a full-time social worker, a full-time counselor, we have one special educator, and we are practically begging for behavior support. So I just wanted to express my surprise at this other possible position when we have a lot of needs at our school that are not being met and having the students engage more with law enforcement rather than meeting their needs doesn't to me seem to be the way to do that so thank you for taking comments on that 
Thank you very much. Anyone in the room have a comment? Yes. John Helsan, parent of two OSS students. I'm here today about a book that my ninth grade student is reading. It's called The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian in his English class. And I would like to quote from the book. I think it's a rather inappropriate book. Um, the title of the page on page 26 is Naked Woman Plus Right Hand Equals Happy, Happy, Joy, Joy. Yep, that's right. I admit that I masturbate. I'm proud of it. I'm good at it. I'm ambidextrous. If there were professional masturbators league, I'd get drafted number one and make millions of dollars. And maybe you're thinking, well, you really shouldn't be talking about masturbation in public. Well, tough. I'm going to talk about it because everybody does it and everybody likes it. And if God hadn't wanted us to masturbate, then God wouldn't have, had, have given us thumbs. So I thank God for my thumbs. I think we can find better books for our English classes. Um, and there's more in here. That's just an example. And from what I understand, they're also reading a book later in the year which actually describes anal sex. Um, my child actually was not permitted to read it two years ago. We told the teacher we wanted a different book. So I, I just want to say I think we can find better books. I don't think that's appropriate for reading uh, in, the, in the school. Um, and, that, and that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Online, any public comment? I don't see any. No? In the room? Going once, it's going twice. Actually, can I finish my three minutes real quick? You About may. 20 seconds. Uh, it also throws God in there. And I, I'm a Christian, um, but I know the schools try and stay away from teaching religion except in a historical sense. And this is really an anti-religion that's being taught because I could point all throughout the Bible where that is not what God intended to do with our thoughts. So you're actually teaching a religion that's anti-Christianity. Um, you know, I actually really offended with that. So, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Um, moving on, uh, the discussion of adjustments of employees' retirement benefits. I think that's me. Yeah, it is. You're up. <laughs> All right. Uh, so my first school board meeting in many years, so if I uh, get something wrong, let me know. Uh, Colin Andresen, um, I've worked for the OSSB in one capacity or another for the past 25 years. Um, this is year 25. Um, and um, However, this is only year five where I've been in a retirement plan here. Um, so I'm just going to walk you through a little math, if that's okay, and then I have a request for the board to consider. Um, so for my first two years in the district, I was an employee of the Clara Martin Center. That's what brought me to Randolph. I was recruited here by the Clara Martin Center. Um, I lived quite a distance away. After two years, I determined I could not drive 200 miles a day, 50 weeks a year. Um, and that was my calendar at Clara Martin. When the high school, when the district became aware of my plans to depart, they made an offer that I could work a school year calendar because they felt my work was, uh, was I guess, worth the, uh, the offer. I said, oh, 38 weeks, give or take, certainly seems more palatable to my budget um, and my commitment to the district, and so um, I accepted. And so that leaves 23 years I've worked full-time for the OSSD. I worked, I took one year as a sabbatical because it was, it's, it's hard work. Um, and uh, though I did supervise the position as it was filled for one year for me and I came up every week. During, during that time, I repeatedly asked, um, I had a good working relationship with Dr. K. Brent, long-term superintendent here, and I would say, gosh, you know, I know I have a special contract with the district. Um, it would be great if I could get a retirement plan. That would be nice. I'd like a retirement plan. And I would always be told that it's not possible. And I was younger then than I am now, and 
naive and just was like happy to have a job and really felt it was rewarding and fulfilling and just was like, okay. And just would always ask every time, <clears throat> excuse me, my contract would be renewed. I'd be like, ah, you know, it's not really about the health benefits for me. My wife has those. Great if I could get like a retirement plan, you know. And I hear people talk about it around me in the school building. And it was always told that's not possible, right? Um, and I just was like, okay, I really like to work here. And I kept working here, continue to work here. Um, Brent left, enter Lane Millington. Um, and as my contract came up for discussion again with Lane, and he says, is there anything we can do for you? And I said, oh, you know, I've asked a hundred times, but you know, it'd be great if I could have a retirement plan. And he said, oh, well, let me look into that, right? And uh, 24 hours later, Lane came to me and said, oh yeah, yeah, you don't have an AOE license. I'm not like an English teacher, right? I have a Secretary of State license. I'm a licensed counselor. He goes, you qualify for the municipal retirement plan that we offer our employees. And I was like, no. Oh. Would have been nice to know 20 years ago. Um, and so he signed me up for it. So after 25 years of, ser of service, um, I'm now, in, I have four years under my belt. I'm in my fifth year. And I guess what I'm asking the board is I found out uh, in conversation again with uh, Mr. Millington that um, there are ways to recover or recoup um, lost years for retirement. Um, Educators have done it in the past, and I believe it's possible through the municipal process as well. And so in conversation with Mr. Millington, he said that there's something in the in whatever, and that I would have to get on the board agenda, which I have done, and make my, uh, my pitch uh, to the board to uh, consider my request. And so in my mind, the math is there are 17 years, right, because if we're in year 25, Five are accounted for, right? Three wouldn't qualify. Though, in reality, that if I had known and I was on a retirement, that sabbatical question might have been or whatnot. Um, so, but there are 17 years I've served here full time where I was informed I was not eligible for retirement when, in fact, I probably was. And um, so, I guess I asked the board to consider that and to consider recovering my lost retirement. Through process and I'm open to questions or, or whatever but that's my request and that's why I asked to be on the agenda right because as I get closer I'm 55 this school year 10 to go that's a little scary yeah. so what does that entail the recovery of 17 years yeah. is it so, a financial so, amount do you know so the I, I, the way it's, and yes, yes. I, so and the way I understand it is is that um, that there would have to be a buyback from the municipality of those years of service, right? I don't know the details, right? I, I spoke briefly with Mr. Millington about it. And he said, yeah, because I think that the district has been through it before with the AOE, the, the state pension system that bought back teachers' retirement that they were eligible for but didn't get, and so. Um, so I think that ultimately, at the end of the day, it is a financial thing, right? It is buying back the years of service that I repeatedly asked to be a part of. And the evidence that I can present is the minute that Lane said, as his entrance in, and I was just like, this is what I want, right? And I continue, and I, I assumed I'd hear, no, it's not possible, but persistence is an important thing in life. <laughs> and. Um, I persisted and I asked Lane on my first go round of conversation and he goes, no, yes, special contract, municipal, you're not the only one, no problem. And I was just like, that's just a little frustrating that for all those years before. And I had a great working relationship with Dr. K, um, but he was very proud of his 0% budget increases um, throughout his tenure as superintendent. And unfortunately, I hate to do the math and wonder if that was a piece of it. But my relationship with him was intact to the end. But he always said it wasn't possible to find out with one question to a new superintendent that it was possible. It was frustrating. Lane, do you know anything about the process for balloon payment to the IRS? So um, what we would have, and, and municipal retirement is, is not, it's not big money. 
you know, it's, it's a retirement. It's not, it's not a lot. We would have Robin reach out um, to the, the retirement board, um, would talk with them about the situation. Um, there might be a limit that the board puts on how many years that you could buy back. And so that would probably be kind of the first step. Um, the only reason that it's coming uh, in front of the board is there is a policy, an executive limitation that present, prevents me from causing unequitable circumstances with retirement and making decisions about it. And given the fact that Colin may not be the only one, I don't, you know, we want to make sure that we do this for everybody that should happen. Um, and understand the financial implications. Yeah. There is. Um, um, maybe we could spread it over several years since we didn't do yeah. it. So I think I think figuring out how many years you know maximally they would consider. Um, there is also the operational reserve fund that I have built um, over time that would be suitable for this. Uh, but find a dollar amount in time if the board is willing. I certainly think it's something we should have. Yeah, we yeah. should into, look into and look at the, yeah. right. What are, we, what are we as a board, what is the process of it? Do we need to, do we need to authorize? Char, 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 charge me with getting the information so that you can have the information you need to make an informed decision. So in some of that information, will you find out how many other employees this might, okay. Right. Uh, yeah. There were there were a lot of special contracts. Um, some of them were on the teacher side that my first year we, we worked out in the end. Um, and some of those folks did not get retirement either, which we tried to correct uh, after the fact. Um, that was a little bit easier because we knew everybody who it was. and It, it just made sense under the rules. Um, this one's a little bit different. Okay. So, so moved? Yes, yeah, so we get moved. Uh, I make a motion for Lane to look into retirement funds for eligible employees in this circumstance. Sam second. second. Uh, further discussion? All those in favor, visually and audibly, please. Aye. 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 Great. Thank you, Sarah. Unanimously passes. Thank you, Colin. Thanks, y'all. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> it's been requested that we take a five-minute recess to determine uh, whether we are we are in violation with of open, open meeting laws. Yeah, I was going to say if there isn't an agenda, I don't know if I should have made my public comment because I don't know when. Right. Yeah, right. Great. So uh, I suppose we need to vote on that. I don't so to take a recess, we're yeah. going to take a five-minute recess. Okay. All right, thank you for your patience, everyone. Um, unfortunately, I am going to call this meeting to a close at 628 um, without the agenda being posted 48 hours in advance. We are in violation of Vermont state open meeting laws. Um, I understand it will be posted momentarily, um, which means that 48 hours from now, if we, we could have a meeting. We could legally have a meeting. So I appreciate everyone's pay, uh, uh, presence here today. And um, I, 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 uh, I don't want to say I apologize. These mistakes happen. It, it's, it's no one's fault. And um, Colin, I'm glad we got through one agenda item so we could hear you speak. And, uh, so that counts? Well, probably at our next meeting, we'll actually have to we'll vote. Just, we don't vote it again. We'll vote, we'll vote it again. We'll vote again. Yeah. 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 So don't have, I don't think no. you'll have to come back. No. No, I'll we'll torture you. We'll, 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 it's an hour and a half each way. Yeah. Right, right, right. No, and we appreciate you being here tonight. Yeah, of and all of you, thank you. And as soon as we have the meeting, the December meeting rescheduled, we will let everyone know. Thank you.